afternoon folks big Bo here with another great vehicle value from parkway rv center i'm about to show you a hoss today folks <laughs> uh, this is actually kind of the first one of these we've ever had this is a 2009 smart car passion coupe it's got the tow bar system it's completely set up tow behind a motorhome now folks i did some research on these cars these are not the easiest vehicle to transfer over to a tow car. Um, the cheapest I could find anybody that would do it was over $3,600. That whole front clip has to come off this car to put the axle disconnects, to put the tow bars on it, and all this has already been done so you don't have to worry about it. So in other words, folks, I'm going to save you a lot of money over buying one of these cars with 30,000 miles and spending almost $4,000 converting it to tow behind your RV. This has already been done. It's got the axle disconnect, got the Roadmaster tow bar with it. That's several hundred dollars by itself and much more. This is a 2009 smart car, Passion Coupe, nine foot long, including the tow bar on the front. It's already wired up for lights. It's got 30,000 miles. Pretty neat little car, folks. You know, first of all, the ease and portability, you can park this thing virtually anywhere. You can park it in just about a motorcycle parking space if you wanted to. Nine foot long, including the uh, including the tow bar, weighs 1,800 pounds. So, you know, if you want to tow this behind a small, like a Sprinter van or something like that, this will do it very, very easily. The car is pretty much pick-proof. It's got 15-inch alloy wheels. That was an option. Got almost new tires. Dash air is ice cold. It's got a five-speed automatic manual transmission. And it's kind of like a, they called it electromechanical uh, dual clutch system. So these drive a little different than your average automobile. It's got a little bit of hesitation, a little bit of jerking every time it changes gears. So if you've never drove one of these before, you just have to get used to that. Now, and that's, that's every single one of these you buy, folks, does that. That's just the way they're designed. They're designed for economy, not for comfort. But this little car's got the glass roof. Like I said, it's the Passion Series. So it's got power windows, power locks. It's got traction control. Um, ABS, of course. It's got the steel cell construction. These things are incredibly safe. The whole thing's basically a car built around a steel cell to uh, withstand high impacts. It's got the comfort package, got the smart sound system, the anti-theft alarm system, got the cockpit clock and rev counter, uh, fog lamps. It's, I've got the original Moroni sticker right here showing all, the, um, showing all the different options. And you probably know more about this than I do if you know these cars. Ford up to 41 miles per gallon, actually up to 46 miles per gallon. So definitely uh, one of the more economical cars you can buy without going all electric. And, you know, this thing's, you can see what suggested retail was with the options, and then you're going to spend another $3,700. So if you bought this car new and had that all that tow equipment put on it, you're looking almost $20,000 right here. I've got it for $79.95, folks. And I've driven this car. It's got a 70 horsepower three-cylinder, or excuse me, 70 horsepower one-liter three-cylinder engine. And an 1,800-pound car, this thing actually zips around really good. One thing I've noticed about that, folks, I'm a big guy. I'm six foot four, 280 pounds. I can get in and out of this car very easily, even easier than my full size truck. And uh, the inside's immaculate. I mean, look at this, folks. I'm six foot four. I have leg room. neat little car it's got the uh, like I said it's got the sunroof with the cover that you can close the dash air is ice cold uh, the seats look great 30,582 miles no check engine lights no warning lights uh, got the running daytime running lamps it's got like I said the it's got also got the remote keys got both keys to it Owner's manuals in the glove box. I got the original Moroni sticker that goes with it. The car is practically immaculate. I mean, there's nothing, and that air is cold too, folks. I'm gonna tell you, no more area than you're trying to cool. 
this little car is fun to drive. It, it gets up and goes. Um, I mean, there's there's no excuses for it. Now, if you are just wanting to buy this car for what it is, you know, it's probably going to be a little bit more expensive because of all that tow equipment. So, this is more or less designed uh, as price for somebody who wants one of these to tow behind a motorhome. Because, first of all, you're not going to find another one of these cars already set up like this for this price. I've looked, folks, there's none of them out there. People normally don't put the tow equipment on these cars because it costs almost $4,000 to do so. So they'll usually buy a different vehicle, something they can just spend $1,000, $1,500 setting the tow equipment up. So to find one of these little guys that's already set up to tow is pretty amazing. In fact, a buddy of mine's got one of these. He bought brand new, tow behind his motorhome, and I, and you, he can tell you everything you want to know about towing one of these. But it does have an axle disconnect, so you can tow it. It's got the lights this little car behind it and this is according to a buddy of mine you don't even know it's back behind your motorhome it's so small it's so lightweight it, it's practically like towing a like towing nothing at all so if you want something to tow behind a smaller motorhome that may not have a lot of power or, the, to, or a lot of towing capacity if you can tow 1800 pounds you can tow this car very very easily and there's your owner's manual and everything too of course got a little trunk it's a hatchback I mean, folks, I don't know what else I can really say about it, except that uh, if this is what you're looking for with a tow bar system set up, it's the cheapest one in the country. Um, heck, I'll, I don't care to take you for a little, I'll run it around the block, show you what kind of pickup this thing's got. I mean, it really, really surprises you. Yeah, I've got the air on too, so keep that in mind. And like I said, these things have got a automatic manual transmission, so they shift different than your average car. The turning radius of this little guy is, is unbelievable. I mean, this thing can sit there and do the tightest turnaround or U-turn of any vehicle I've ever seen. But the little car just, it just gets up and go, but and you can probably sense the hesitation and the shift. That's just the way they shift, folks. That's just the way they're made. Um, you know, if you want something to buzz around town in that, that's easy to park, you know, this is ideal. Big cities. And look at this, folks. I mean, I'm passing. This is a 70 horsepower motor, and I'm passing cars in the right lane going up this hill. So, I mean, this thing's got plenty of power for getting out um, and still going to get incredible fuel mileage. It's got automatic headlights, CD stereo, great sounding stereo. Um, of course, I'm trying to drive one-handed here, so. But the radio works great. The car drives straight. There's no pulsating in the uh, brake pedal. There's no vibration from the tires. I mean, it, 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 I'm running 55 miles an hour and it's just, it's just smooth as can be. Anyway, folks, this car is $79.95. That's a haggle-free price. It's going on eBay. Uh, bidding starts at the asking price. That includes all the towing equipment. That's $3,600 worth of towing equipment if you had to buy one of these uh, and add all that to it. And it's not, an, it's not a daytime thing. It takes several, several days to get all the stuff put in because that whole front clip has to come off to install the towing equipment. It's not like a normal car. But the little car shifts good. There's no check engine lights, no warning lights. And like I said, I'm six foot four, 280 pounds, and I'm driving this thing very comfortably. I can get in and out of this thing very easily. Uh, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Our website's parkwayrvcenter.com. We've got over 170 used RVs. So if you want to buy a motorhome and buy this for a tow vehicle, Hey, you, we'll make you a great deal.
and you don't have to worry about buying a tow dolly or nothing. I mean, it's ready to, uh, this thing's ready to throw behind a motor home and tow anywhere in the country. So give us a call, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Our website is parkwayrvcenter.com or .net. Um, and if you're looking for one of these with a tow system already installed, good luck. I couldn't find another one. And uh, you're going to spend six, seven grand for one of these passion coupes with 30,000 miles without the tow equipment. And then you're going to have about 10 grand in the rig by the time you get it all set up. So I'm saving you a lot of money. I'm, uh, it's already set up. I'm saving you a lot of time and aggravation having to get it put in. There's not that many places that install tow bar systems in these. In fact, my buddy had to go all the way to North Carolina from Georgia to find a place to install the one in his. So uh, there's not that many places that install tow equipment on these little, uh, on these little smart cars. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.